Hey guys, Rainbow 7 x here, and today I'm just going to do a demonstration of this old cell phone I got. So this is a Motorola Microtax 650E, and I got it off eBay for $25 with the charger, brand new in box, so yeah, I'm going to give a demonstration of it. It's an old analog amps phone that, um, it does not get service anymore because they tore down the towers for it in 2007, but... I collect old cell phones, so I got it anyways, and I thought I'd make a video on it. So, um, this is a phone. It's very nice condition, actually. It has a thing that you can put in a cradle, and that's its charger for. It's very strange. But And, um, here's the battery. I'll take that off. Okay. It's a little hard, but, um, there we go. Here's the, um, back of the phone, and I'm gonna hide this. But, um... Here's instructions for it, battery terminals, and a lot of people have been putting their microtax in test mode using the center pin that's usually recessed. Mine is not. There's a different way to get into mine's test mode. So I'm going to put this back on, and here's the inside of the keypad. Very nice and clean, and it has that cool vintage phone smell to it, too. So, yeah, it says Motorola down here on the flip cover, and we've got two programmable memory locations. If anyone knows why this button's on the outside, I'd really like to know, because I can't seem to use it when the phone is closed. Anyway, it has a extendable antenna, which would be used in case you're getting out of range, but unfortunately, mine does not take a charge on its battery. And, um, I tried switching this little switch down here on the battery. I have no idea what it does, but yeah. So, there's a charger. Very strange connector. I have no idea. I've never seen anything weird like this, but... Motorola original. You want to plug it in, and it makes this weird beep noise when you plug it in. Okay. Now it's trying to charge a battery that does not take a charge. So, yeah. Um, the volume's way down on it, so you probably won't hear it. I'll turn it up. I'm going to open it, and I'm going to push power to turn it on. Okay. It's super quiet, but that's because I don't want the sound up. And I'll turn it up, though, for the video. There we go. So we've got numeric keypad here with uh, four labeled as battery, five as lock, and six as mute. Um, and one will get into, into a menu if you push function, one. Then we've got a few buttons down here. We've got send and end. We've got clear, clears entries. Function, you push it and you enter a function and it will do something specific. And then we've got store, which will store into memory locations or turn on functions. We've got volume, which turns uh, the volume up and down. It doesn't have up and down keys, though. It's kind of weird. Uh, power button and recall. That recalls data or recalls. Uh, you can push it to recall last call phone number. So, um, I guess we'll dial a number. Um, I'll just do like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not a phone number, I don't think, but <laughs> and if I push send, it doesn't get service. As you can see, the no service light is flashing up there. So you can push send to do the redial, which I'll explain that in a moment, but it's making like this high-low tone. So if you push send, what that does is it puts it into redial mode. Um, pretty much redial mode is where if the party's not answering that you're calling, you can push that and it will repeatedly call that party until they answer, then it will cause the phone to ring and you can pick it up and you'll be connected. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. Well, I guess I can show the menu, though. Um, so if I do function 1, it'll get me into the uh, menu here. So, what is this? So, um, I forgot what this one is, but... Okay. Uh, I can't read that. It's a little bit different, but I think it's, like, one emergency. I don't know. Anyway, you push star and pound to scroll through the menu. It's kind of weird, but this is, um, more, that's supposed to be an M, but I can't read it. And I know this is ringer style. Um, this is auto answer. We've got, um... M, P, not sure what that does, but 
And we've got, oh, that's one key answer. Multi-key answer, that's what it is. Then this is uh, auto lock, which is when you turn on the phone, it will lock up automatically. Then we've got emergency call. We've got a uh, voice activated, um, like, talking, so it, it conserves power. And then we've got um, extended talk, which extends talk time. And we've got reminder from messages. In case you have like voicemail, it'll like beep if you have this turned on, so it reminds you. And then we've got select language, and yeah, that's pretty much. Oh, pin. Uh, this is for like calling pin or something. I'm not sure, but yeah, that's all the menus in the menu. <laughs> all the options in the menu. I mean, you can push N to cancel the redial. But there's a way to get into the test mode on this. Instead of shorting that center pin, you do this. You do function zero zero star star T E S T. You just pretty much spell out test mode on the thing here. So it's eight three seven eight six six three three. Or what? Yeah, six six three three. And then you push store. But you push function zero zero star star T E S T M. O D E and then store. So that's how you get into the test mode. Then I can push pound to get into service level. And yeah. And to get out of test mode you have to turn the phone off. So yeah. It's pretty nice. So yeah, that's about it. So have a nice day.